Welcome to our Excite Control for Unity Features Tutorial Series. In the last tutorial, I showed you how custom events are used to switch states and so to trigger a reaction behavior. The triggered behavior was done by built in functions. This time, I want to show you how to create and use your own custom functions. So let's open the Excite Control Creator. Here is the reaction FSM again that we built in the last two tutorials. When the soldier entity can see the blue entity, the FSM switches from the start state to the first reaction state. By doing this, the built in Excite Map set new target function is called, and so the soldier moves to the other entity's position. To define a custom function, I need to go to the environment window and enter a name. I can define functions with several parameters and different return types. Now I can use that function in the transition. I need to click deploy to inform the Excite Control Unity plugin about the change. When I switch to the Unity editor, and press play, I get a warning that my new function was called, but that it's not implemented yet. So the last step I need to do is implement that function in the Excite Control script of the Reaction FSM. When I open that script in MonoDevelop, I can use the auto completion to find the function I want to implement. Actually, I only need to override an empty base function. To demonstrate that the function is called, I added some code to enable the soldier's flashlight. So when the entity enters the field of view this time, the new function is called and the soldier walks with enabled flashlight. In this tutorial, I showed you how to create and use custom functions in Excite Control Creator and how to use them within Unity. That's all for now. Thank you for attention.